Hey everyone, Reflected here, and I'd just like to give you a quick update. I reworked all my 56th Fighter Group P-47 Thunderbolt skins that come with my Wolfpack campaign, and that are also available in the user file section. This is just one item on the long changelog that's coming with the next open beta update. Please hit subscribe now to stay up to date with all the improvements and future campaigns. So, the work on Debden Eagles, my P-51 campaign, began with making the skins for it. And I spent a lot of time fine-tuning my Mustang template. See, metallic skins are one of the hardest to make, because what color is aluminum? It's really hard to get it right. There are three layers that affect its color. The diffuse layer, which is the base color, and believe it or not, it should be almost fully white. The RGB code of aluminum is 245, 246, 246. Most skinners make it light gray, but that's wrong and it's not gonna look right under different lighting conditions. Then there's the blue channel of the rough matte file, which decides whether it has metallic or non-metallic properties. Most skinners make a mistake here because aluminum should be fully metallic, so the channel should be completely white except of course the weathering and dirt, but that's a different topic. As soon as it's not completely white, it's not gonna behave like metal anymore, more like a silver paint, like on some of the restored P-47s today. And then there's the green channel that affects how shiny the surface is. The first two are a given, so this is the layer one needs to fiddle with, and most skinners overdo its shininess, making it look like polished chrome, like the thunderbolts they see at air shows and in museums, but that wasn't the case in wartime. It was pretty rough, you couldn't use it as a mirror. It's not enough to get one of these three right, because then your skin will look okay under one kind of lighting condition, but it will look off in another. I looked at many original photos and videos and tested my skin in game under different lighting, and finally I'm happy with the result. It looks a lot more realistic than before, when it resembled more of a silvery gray layer of paint. This change didn't only affect the natural metal skins, but the unique camo skins of the 56th fighter group as well, because their underside was not painted medium gray as opposed to what many believe, but they were left unpainted. Also, in the latter part of the Wolfpack campaign, you get a new aircraft, a later model with the gyro gun sight. Until now, I used the dark purplish blue skin for Miller's Mayhem 2 because I wasn't fully happy with the aluminum skins, but now that they finally look realistic, you'll fly an unfinished metal ship during the last few missions. I love aluminum skins, I hope you do too, because I won't change it back. Alright, don't forget to subscribe for further updates. See ya!